stranger here within our foreign land. My home is far away upon a golden strand. Ambassador to be of rain beyond the sea. I'm here on business for my king. This is my message that I bring. A message I just House of the Lord on this lovely summerish day. If there is any heart that is like winter in your soul, I pray that the Lord will make it summer. Amen. Let's open our hymn book to him number 621 to begin with. Christ is our cornerstone. Oh, then with aims of praise. We're here to sing praises to this great God, our high priest. Jesus Christ, as we learn this morning, you're welcome to the house of the Lord. I extend a similar welcome to our internet audience. Wherever you may be, we pray that the Lord will bless you. Amen. The Lord whom we have come to meet with here, who was here before we got here, 
we are looking unto him to bless you too, wherever you are. But in case you are local and you like to join us, you are very welcome. You have just missed on the lovely prelude from the choir and orchestra who gave us my hope is in the Lord as the orchestra who worship the Lord from the choir. And I'm a stranger here. And um, the advice that we need to be reconciled with God from the, um, the two brothers that gave us a duet. But you can as well join us. We are located on number 13, Penn Hill Road, DA53P. You can join us as we continue with the service. We are singing 621. We are taking verses 1, 2, and 4. from the same hymn book, 650. <laughs>
Amen. We're going to take a song that is from um, Lutheran Hymna. It's an old song. Jesus, my great high priest. It's going to be a grand choir. We're going to have verses 1, 3, and 4. Jesus, 685, 685, let's take um, verses 1 and 2, just verses 1 and 2, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, may he save you today, Amen. if you are present here and yet unsaved or you are doubting your salvation, we have Jesus Christ here, the savior of yes. mankind. He will save you today. Amen. Two verses of this song again. We are going to take sitting down after the introduction. 685. One more song before we have our congregational prayer, and that is going to be 663. 663. Head of the church triumphant, we joyfully adore thee. Till thou appear, thy members here shall sing like those in glory. Amen. Let's take verses 1, 2, and the last. 1, 2, and the last. We sing 1 and 2 sitting down. 
and we stand up to sing the fourth verse, at the end of which Brother Mike will come forward to lead us in prayer. God, your almighty Father, Amen. we thank you, yes. the most high priest, yes. the high priest that never dies, Amen. the high priest does not need to do a remission for sin, Amen. a sinless high priest, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the Lord mighty will pay the price for all our sorrows, all our troubles, all our problem in this world, we worship you, Amen. we worship you. We worship you. Yeah. Who is like unto thee, O God? The mighty in battle. Yeah. The glorious in holiness. Yeah. The Lord that never fails. Yeah. The Lord that never dies. Yeah. The Lord that never sleeps. Yeah. The Lord that is ever ready. Yeah. Glory be to your name. Yeah. Glory be to your name. Yeah. We have come again to receive from you. Yeah. Come down. Yeah. Bless us today. Yeah. Save souls. Sanctify. Give us Holy Spirit. Give us your anointing. Heal the sick. Heal the sick. Heal the sick. Set the captive free. Make our joy full. And take us to heaven at last. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we pray in Jesus' name.
Our Bible reading for the service this morning is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and we'll be reading from verse 18 to verse 24. Hebrews, chapter 12, from verse 18 to verse 24. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of worlds, which voice they that had entreated that the world should not be spoken to them any more. For they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. But ye are come unto Mount Zion, Amen. and unto the city of the living God, Amen. the heavenly Jerusalem, Amen. and to an innumerable company of angels, Amen. to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all and to the spirits of just men made perfect, Amen. and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Amen. from the book of Hebrews, the 10th chapter. 
Hebrews chapter 10. I read from verse 11 through to 14. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering, oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But this man, referring to Jesus, but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering, praise God, for by one offering, he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. I love the simplicity of the gospel. I just thank God that God in his economy has decided to make the gospel simple. May we not complicate it. May we not add to it. May we not subtract from it. Perhaps what I want to say to you this morning is what you know already. It's what you have been hearing every time. Nothing new. Actually, not long ago, we, we went into a deep study of the tabernacle worship. I just want to remind you some aspects of that this morning and focus on the commander-in-chief of the dispensation of grace. Amen. The new dispensation. The one that God sees fit from heaven that fits you and fits me. I wonder how many of us would cope if we were to live during the dispensation of the law, during the old dispensation. We we learned that um, during that time, everything has to do with rituals and visible objects. Perhaps just for you to recap, the outer court, we have there the brazen altar where we have the blood used for trespass offering. The person that has come for the uh, trespass to be forgiven, we just be looking at the priest making the sacrifices on his behalf. The priests at that time, they were so important. They, they were the real essence of the worship of God. When they look up to heaven in faith, those who have brought the animal, we look up to God in faith as the sacrifice is being made on the altar in their behalf. And God will look down from heaven. God will see their faith and he will forgive them their sins. Those people could not approach God directly. They needed a priest. Then if they needed to be uh, made sanctified, made holy, holy, then they need to bring another sacrifice, another offering, again with blood, their sin offering, which the priest again has to take into the holy place. And during that time, they'll be waiting, expecting that that sacrifice will work for me. That one that that priest is presenting inside, maybe the only thing they could see was just the covering of the holy place. They could see as far as that. They couldn't see the inside, but the priest would go inside in their behalf, would do what the Lord would want him to do, and would come out, and they will be sanctified. Amen. Wonderful. Then the holy place is another place where we are told that we have the very essence of the dwelling of God. The Shekinah glory of God is there. The um, um, ark uh, will be there that contains the manna, the rod, and um, the mercy seat on top of that. The high priest will go there one day a year. Thank God that we can come to the house of the Lord anytime. Yes. The high priest will go there one day a year, and that has to be on the day of atonement, and he will make atonement for the whole nation. These were the things that they needed to do if they have done anything wrong and they needed forgiveness and they needed help from God. They must find out if any priest is available. They must find out if anyone is ready among the priests to really uh, um, um, atone on their behalf. And I, I just want to thank God that today it is not like that. Yeah. Today it is better. Yeah. Today it is direct. Yeah. You know, as I was studying this, I was even thinking it must have been extremely hard for these people when, in fact, they could see that the priests themselves, they were just like them. Yeah. The priests would make the same mistake they were making. Perhaps you will remember Eli, the high priest. 
when a woman of God who was looking up to God and praying to God would come into the temple to just pray, and this, this, this great man of God would just accuse and just uh, uh, saw her to be a, a terrible woman, a drunkard, and, and things like that. Yet, these are the priests to, to, to work in their behalf. Yet, these are the priests to stand in the gap between themselves and God. Perhaps you will also remember the, um, um, the children of um, Eli himself. They were priests too. They were not high priests. They were priests. Yeah. But the Bible tells us that at the entrance of the tabernacle, they'd be committing fornication. When people come to make sacrifices, they would just want whatever they wanted, irrespective of whether those things were right for them or not, to the extent that the Bible states the people abhorred the service of the Lord, the house of the Lord. Yet, these were the priests to stand in the gap. Must have been very difficult for them. Yeah, yeah. I advised you need to go through, through you, this priest, to make atonement for me, bring my animal to you, and I know all your faults, and I know all your, uh, your blemishes, and I know all your problems, and yet God didn't make another way for them. That was God's way for them. Yeah. And if they followed that way, God will bless them. Yes. God will save them. Sure. God will sanctify them. Sure. God will answer their prayers. Sure. I was pondering on this. We look at all these priests, they are like our pastors and ministers today. We are all on the same boat. What you are going through, the ministers are going through it. The prayer that you are saying, God, let me make heaven. I tell people every time, and I keep saying that, I love to make heaven. I want to make heaven. The way you are being careful is the same way I must be careful. It's only Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. The sinless one. Yeah. It's only Jesus, yeah. the Son of God. Yeah. I want to present that Jesus to you today. Amen. I want to present you to that Jesus today. Amen. That should be our focus. Yeah. That should be the only one when we gather, when we come to the house of the Lord, see no one, yeah. see Jesus alone, Amen. and he will bless you. Amen. He will answer your prayers. Amen. Many times some of us miss it. I've missed it before myself. When we get our priority wrong. The person that you are looking up to to help you is also looking up to God to help him. That's true. We are all looking up to God to help us. Yes. Let all of us face the same direction. Yes. And that direction is heaven. Yes. That direction is Jesus. Yes. That direction is Calvary. Yes. That direction is the cross. Yes. No one died for my sins. It's only Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I thank God for that. Yeah. No wonder these people, they won't have to make atonement for themselves first. Because they too have their problems, their errors, their imperfections, and all their issues, like any other one. We were going through um, this uh, biggest church, they call it, during this our visit to uh, our France. And um, as we entered that um, church, uh, Brother was actually the one who saw that and pointed it out to me. Uh, he said, look at that one, look at that one. He's praying, he's praying to that picture. And truly, you see some people, the way they will do, in front of the picture, in front of something that is, um, Stella was just talking of Rabanji, as we were there, that Rabanji will appreciate this more. Because these are wonderful paintings of different things and many things. And, and you just see, you know, as if bowing down to that, Rabanji, those uh, as, fant as fantastic. As great as they are, they are not representing God. No. There is no spirit in them. No. I've been to another place where you have a cubicle. And I do, I, I ask, because I, I only know uh, this church by the grace of God. Uh, there's, I think, it's, again, Stella told me, having been part of that uh, uh, congregation before, um, she told me of what that meant when we were going around one other uh, cathedral or one church, and then you see one place where you will kneel, you see one kubiku, and in front of that kubiku you see some gratings, and I was told that there will be a priest, they call Father, inside that place, uh, will be looking through those um, gratings that they made, and the person who has come to confess his or her sins will kneel down and will be telling Father. Yeah. How about Father himself? Yeah. Yeah. Who will Father tell? 
It's only Jesus we should tell our sins. Yes. It's only Jesus we should confess to. Yes. Because he's the only one that has the power yes. to forgive us. Yes. And to cleanse us yes. from all unrighteousness. Yes. Jesus Christ, our great high priest. I love him. Yes. I love him. Yes. We, I, I just love the excellency Amen. of this dispensation. Yes. I, I, it is better than anything. Yes. It's better than everything. Yes. The gospel dispensation is excellent. Yes. And what made it to be excellent is none other than Jesus Christ, Amen. the Son of God. Amen. Well, I was thinking about this, and I said, I wonder today why many people uh, would like to make um, the service of God, the worship of God, complicated. Then I started thinking of my all-in-one printer. Before you have one for the printing with cabling, you have one for the photocopying, with cabling. You have one to scan with cabling. Perhaps you have another one with cabling. Everything complicated. But then, I have one now. Amen. Thank God for Brother Adi. I have one now. It has everything. On one, on one machine, just like that. You just need to press whether it is a scan you want to do, photocopy you want to do. You don't need to be doing anything again. How simple. Yeah. I look at the gospel dispensation yeah. like that. No complications. Very, very simple. All in one. Everything cumulating in one person, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The one that we have all come to see today. The one that we have all come to pray to today. May he answer your prayers. May he answer my prayers. He is the one that suffered, shed his blood, died. He is the one that has given you and I the access. We can kneel down today and talk to God. Yeah. We can call upon the name of the Lord anywhere yeah. and He will answer our prayers. Yeah. How excellent. What a greater privilege that we have today. One offering, one suffering yes. will give us salvation. Yes. That same offering, that same, um, 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 uh, uh, what He has done once and for all, we give you sanctification. Yeah. That same offering, we give you healing. Yeah. If you've been listening to the teachings from Weka Camp Meeting, the first three teachings, um, all are poor people we know, usually we center on salvation, sanctification, yeah. Holy Ghost baptism, and we thank God for that. Yeah. We love to hear that. Yeah. And the last one on Friday was on divine healing. And if you remember, if you listen carefully, one point that was made about when you come forward to be prayed for, some people will be looking for the DO. They'll be looking for the DS. They'll be looking for the RO. They'll be looking for the RD. Believing that this is only a minister. Sorry, Brad, when he's doing like this. What, what, what's, is he speaking Chinese? Yeah. Well, what I mean by that is they're looking for the district overseer yeah. or district superintendent. Actually, even this time around, when some people saw Brother Darrell around, it's like, I want him to pray for me. Ah. I have poor ministers like myself and my colleagues. Well, what is in us? What is in anybody? I remember that teacher was saying that when you come for prayer, don't think of the people praying for you. You are obeying God, yeah. isn't it? Amen. There is no power in the oil. Yeah. There is no power in the hand laid upon you. Everything is just being done because God has said it. Yes. And if you center your faith on Jesus, yeah. you will be healed. Yes. It's all about Jesus. Yes. He's the one that can deliver completely. Yes. Suffered. The word of God tells us in um, Hebrews 2.18 that he suffered being tempted. He's able to succor them that are tempted. Yes. Uh -uh. I look at that word, succor. I cannot do it for you. Your parents cannot even do it. There is little that we can do for ourselves. And don't misunderstand me. We must do that. You must encourage me. I must encourage you. I must lift you up. You must lift me up. But we must not lose sight of Jesus. He's the only one that can succor us, that can help us, that can assist us, that can comfort us, that can relieve us, that can rescue us, that can deliver us, that can carry us through. Nobody can do that for you. Set your affections on him. His name is Jesus. 
What a high priest is this? What a minister of the church. What a minister of the sanctuary Jesus Christ is. This is the one we all need. Have you made him your high priest? Have you made him your minister? Have you made him your spouse? Have you made him your pastor? Have you made him your counselor? Have you made him your leader? Jesus Christ, Amen. I present him to you. Yeah. It's because of him that we can gain access to God. Yeah. It's because of him that we can have forgiveness of sin. Yes. And when I was a um, SU member in my school, we, we loved that song so much, Jesus never fails. Yeah. The man of the world, they will let you down. That, that will happen. Mm -hmm. If you have not experienced that, you will yes. in this world, in this life. But Jesus Amen. never fails. Amen. Never ever. Amen. Jesus will not fail you. People that I have thought that they will never, ever fail me, they have failed me. I'm sure you will have that experience. We will all have that. But Jesus Christ, you lean on him, you make him your supporter, you make him your leader, you make him your counselor, you make him your spouse, you make him everything to yourself, he will never fail you. He will support you to the end. Uh, the, uh, chapter 7 of the same book of Hebrews tells us, uh, something about this uh, great commander, this great high priest. Hebrews chapter 7, part of that actually was included <clears throat> in our Sunday school book, in our Sunday school this morning, reading from verse 23. <clears throat> and they truly were many priests, because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. I will die. You will die. Jesus will never die. All these priests, during their time, they will... Uh, uh, um, served for some time, and then they are forgotten. But for Jesus, he continued forever. Yeah. But this man, I just love that. Yeah. But this man, yeah. this man yeah. that I'm presenting you to, that I'm presenting to you, the great commander, the great high priest of this new dispensation, but this man, because he continued forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He has an unchangeable. Amen. Has an unchangeable Amen. priesthood. Amen. It doesn't change. It remains the same. You know when we talk about we human beings changing, either in our attitude or behavior or, or relationship, and then at times we say that you are behaving better. Your, your attitude is now better. Your relationship is better. When it comes to this man, Amen. there's nothing better. Amen. Because he's the same ever. Yeah. He's the best of the best. Yeah. So there is no improvement. On, we want to improve like you say, Jesus did this yesterday. He has now done it, uh, 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 revealed himself uh, uh, in a better character. He's always the best. Amen. Jesus Christ. This man. Yeah. 25. Wherefore, he is able also. Yeah. Praise God. No one can save you to the uttermost. No one can deliver you to the uttermost. Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost. Means that from here to the ultimate glorification that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession. I don't make intercession for you all the time. I believe you don't do that too. At times, I even forget. When I don't forget, at times, I have my own issues that is overwhelming me. Oh, yeah. At times, I have issues that I, I, I'm consumed with that is just my own problem, my own issue, my own heartache, my own headache, my own sickness. Jesus is never sick. Amen. Jesus had no issues. Amen. That he will say that I'm busy on my issues. You know, at times... Yes, I tell people that my telephone is 24-7. But honestly, it gets to many times I don't pick it. I don't. As much as it is 24-7. Yeah, I'm just tired. Because I'm human. Yeah. I can be looking at phone coming in like this, and I say, what would I say now? Jesus, go and deal with that. Yeah. Jesus, go and answer that. Uh, because I'm tired. Because I'm human. 
I am not Jesus. No. Jesus is Jesus. Oh, yes. Let all of us get that right. Jesus is Jesus. Man is man. Yes. Irrespective of how good, how nice, how lovely, how great you are, you are still a man. Yes. But Jesus Christ, never tired. Amen. Always ready. He can save us to the uttermost. He's the one that is making intercession. Even as we are here now, Jesus Christ, standing by the right hand of God, he, he, he knows that I'm sick. He knows the pain that I have, even as I'm talking to you. He knows the one that you have, even as you are seated there, and by the right hand of God, Father, Isaac needs your touch. You have to touch him. You have to heal him. That sister has been praying for this, and he's been praying in my name, my father. You please answer her now. Amen. Have pity upon her. Amen. That brother, job for a few months, he's been crying. I'm telling you, I'm calling my name, and you are the one saying they ask you anything in my name. He's making intercession for us. Amen. That is our Jesus. He's never tired of doing that. For such an high priest, verse 26. I love that. For such an high priest became us. Ah, that is the kind of high priest we need. That is the one that fits us. No other one. Jesus Christ alone. For such an high priest became us. Who is holy? We still sing today, make me holy. If you are singing that song, I will sing it too. We are all still praying to God. I want to be as holy as you are, oh Lord. Jesus Christ is holy. Harmless. Maybe I've even said something. Maybe I've done something. I may not even know that some people may be considered harmful to them or may be seen as, oh, what is this one that this one is doing? Jesus Christ will not harm you. No. Undefined. Amen. Separate from sinners. Amen. And made higher than the heavens. Amen. Who needeth not daily. As those high priests, as your pastors, as your ministers, as your overseers, as your superintendent, who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifices first for his own sins and then for the people's, for this he did once when he offered up himself. I was saved because I prayed to Jesus to save me. And that is why I am what I am. Jesus Christ did not pray that I want to be saved. No. Ever holy. Sinless, yes. such a high priest yeah. is what you need. Oh, yes. Such a high priest is all I need. Oh, yes. Anything beside that will we, we fail us. Yeah. And Jesus will never fail us. Yeah. We are living in an excellent dispensation. Yeah. There is no excuse for anyone to be afraid. You know that passage that we read about Old, Old Testament times or Mount Sinai? That was the time of fear. Mount Sinai, it was a time of God is coming, thundering, earthquake, uh, the whole place shaking. If anybody would touch that mountain, either animal or human being, you would die. Everybody just like that. To the extent that that great man of God by name Moses also said, I am quaking. I am afraid because of that noise coming like thunder. We have not come to that mountain. Jesus Christ has taken care of that mountain. We have come to Mount Zion. Amen. Praise God. What, what is in Mount Zion? What is in Mount Zion? We read it together uh, from that uh, reading, Hebrew 12, from 22 to 24. Hebrew 12, you see that from 20, 22. But ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. May God open our eyes. So let us see what we are part of. Yeah. If you are already a child of God, you are part of all this. Yes. Isn't that encouraging? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn all over the world, God has only one church. Yes. And only one high priest. Yes. Not many. No. And his name is Jesus. Yes. The church of the firstborn which are written in heaven and to God the judge of all and to the spirit of just men made perfect. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Jesus Christ. That is where we have come. We have come through his blood to Mount Zion, to gospel dispensation of grace, of life, of joy, of peace. Jesus Christ came to make life easy. Jesus came to simplify things for us. No need to look for any priest or high priest before you approach God. Go direct. God will accept you. Consider, even in the Bible, all those that came to Jesus. Just touch, and they are healed. Just a prayer away. Jesus, the son of David, have mercy upon me. And if we look down, he won't tell them to go and do anything big. Nothing. Even when somebody was caught in adultery, and everybody was saying, must be killed. Must be the whole whole world, just like that, and like that. What did Jesus do? Don't let us make these things complicated. The gospel is simple. For the simple hearted. Jesus Christ was just wondering, okay, all these things you people are saying you are right. You know how to quote. You know people know how to preach. When they are not the one being affected. Yes, they know the very verse to, to, to mention. And Jesus stood down and he was writing. Continue, I'm hearing. In the law of Moses. Okay, yes, yes, I know what you are saying. Jesus Christ was just thinking and writing. Then he stood up. He thought that he would say, yes, that's what the law says. But Jesus Christ, the great high priest, he met them at the point of their need. He told them, okay, you can. He didn't tell them not to, but if you yourself, you have not sinned. You have not sinned. Okay, cast the first stone. And he stood down again. Before Jesus Christ said that, he knew they wouldn't do anything. He knew they would be condemned. He knew their reaction. So it wasn't that he didn't care about that lady. He cared because it was like as if he was still writing. Somebody can think, how about if now they they all stone it? No, 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 no. Jesus knew because he's one with the Father. He's one with the Spirit that is now talking to the heart of those individuals. That is the high priest we have. His own is no condemnation. His own is freedom. His own is forgiveness. It's amazing how some people are still holding on to their sins, to their pride, to their situations, when all that you need to do in this special gospel dispensation is just to tell him, have mercy upon my soul. I have done it. I did it. I am very sorry. Have mercy upon my soul. Forgive me. It's man that will always remember. God hasn't got any diary of all those things that he has cancelled. Unless you go back to them. Unless you yourself say, no, I want to go back to those things. So irrespective of the magnitude of your sins or where you have gone, the great high priest. Yes. Jesus Christ, the son of God. Yes. Our high priest. Yes. The only one. Yes. The only potentate yes. that we have. We have mercy upon you today. Yes. But if you want to touch him, you can touch him. Uh, he has done it for me. I have experienced the excellency of the gospel dispensation. It was in a meeting like this that I called upon God. I had the good news of salvation. I prayed I didn't get anything. I went to the back of one of the classrooms in my trade center. I was alone there. No pastor, no minister, but I've heard the word. And I started telling Jesus my sins. Jesus did not look down and say that, you are alone here. No one is with you. Choir member. A Sunday school teacher, minister, a pastor, overseer. He, because he sees my heart, yes. he came down from heaven. Yes. He forgave me my sins, yes. and I knew the work was done. Yes. That is the excellency yes. of the gospel dispensation. Yes. It is the one that God can meet you at the point of your need. Yes. He has healed me too. Yes. Stella and I, were, we were both sick together. Yes. It was so terrible. We could not help each other. He had, she had one thing they call whatever they call it. I have whatever they call it. And I, was, I couldn't get up. She couldn't get up. And then I said, okay, maybe one of, one of us has to help each other. I just needed to drink water. Okay, I will struggle to get up from bed to go and get you water. As she got up, that thing in her back pain just hooked her like that. My own pain or headache on the bed must just disappear. We are only two. I cannot attend to anything other than just to get up. You cannot move now. I have got to move. 
and I moved in faith. And by the grace of God, I took care of her little by little. And then, not long ago, I was asking Stella, you can now get up. Where is the pain? <laughs> Jesus, the high priest. Amen. He's still healing today. Oh, yes. I know there are many testimonies like that. Yeah. The excellency Amen. of the gospel dispensation. Yeah. Uh, Jesus cannot fail. He's yeah. always available 24-7. Yeah. This is a better dispensation, yeah. gospel dispensation, because of Jesus Christ. This is it. And I want to pray that may you take the advantage of it because it is not going to continue for life. Yeah. It will soon close. Yeah. This dispensation will soon close. And once it is closed, it is closed. May you enter before it is closed. May you do something about it. Because immediately after this dispensation, something terrible, something unbearable will happen. So why would you want to be playing with that? And Jesus is going to help you. Amen. Let's read one more uh, scripture before we go on our knees. Hebrews again, chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. We read that, then we go on our knees to go and approach this, our great high priest. Hebrews chapter 4, reading from verse 14, it says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. May God help you to hold fast. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. We can touch him. You can say, Lord, in faith, I'm touching you. My infirmities must disappear. Uh, at times, you may want to even touch me, the place that is pain in me. Ah, don't touch. He, Jesus Christ has, in not, he has nothing like that. No. We can touch him yeah. with our infirmities. But was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Amen. In all your temptations, Amen. in all my temptations, yeah. in the name of Jesus, Amen. we are going to pass. Amen. We are not going to sin yeah. in that temptation. The great high priest is the one that will help you and I. Let us therefore come boldly unto him, unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Do you want mercy? Do you need grace? The altars are open. I'm inviting you to come and meet Jesus Christ, the great high priest. He will bless you. He will save you. He will meet your need. He will answer your prayers. If you focus on him, he will bless you and you will go home with something special today. As we sing the closing song, hymn number 208.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Wonderful is your name. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, be with us this afternoon, Lord. Come down and hear our prayers. Come down and answer our petition. Come and hear our cry. Our trust is in thee. Our all is in thee. We believe wholeheartedly that you are the answer. Even this afternoon, Lord, come and answer our prayer. We are on bended knees, Lord. Hear our cry. Save us once more. Sanctify us, Lord. Fill us with the Holy Ghost and fire. Heal our diseases. Answer all our petitions. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.